Hello, my name is Gaurav Khurana and today we'll see what testers have seen the misconceptions. There are many misconceptions in the industry about testing. They are not the absolute truth. Uh, they are not always true. Some of them might be at some places, but uh, they are not really the truth. But if you are there in the industry for many years, you must have heard it from some someone. At least if it's not there in your company, it might be happening somewhere else. Uh, but but they're not the really truth because some people have considered them that, yeah, that's the absolute truth. Uh, they are not. So let's see what are those misconceptions that people have seen and they have shared those. Let's start with the first one. Okay, you are not good in coding, then join testing. You will find some of the very good coders also as well in testing, right? But uh, yeah, it's a common one. And uh, requirement and business documents are the Bible. That is not the case. You can give uh, your inputs in that and don't think that since it's, it's written like that, it should work like that. There could be a better way it can work. And let me come to the most common ones that testing is some language. No, it is not. It is the framework development or uh, the testing is that you should know database and some complex technologies. Testing is not coding. Coding is an important skill and some of these are skills which are required, but testing is not that, right? Testing is not that, okay, writing test, because these are unique definitions that people, some of the people have in their mind, but they are not uh, true. That testing is just writing test or uh, you just run some checklist. It's a low paying job than development, at least the companies I have worked with, I have not seen that, right? It's not the, maybe a few companies might be doing that, but that's not the case everywhere. Testing is not development, it's easy. Yeah, James Back say a very good thing for this, that uh, shallow testing is easy, uh, but deep testing is not. So do read uh, about the blogs that uh, from Michael Bolton and James Back, and you'll get uh, many details into the things that they both have done and you will not find after that, that the testing is easy. It's a low grade. So particular to this point, I don't believe in that. I don't believe any of the role in the software industry is a low grade because uh, everybody is required uh, to deliver the software, right? So never ever feel that that uh, testing is low grade. It's a second choice. Yeah, maybe it is for few people. It could be one, right? For few even development could be second choice or any other career option, right? So it's a misconception considering this, right? Testing is a phase maybe in the waterfall, uh, when the projects used to fall waterfall model. Yes, it was a phase. It comes after design, development, testing, right? But now it, it's not actually, right? It's an activity which is, it should be done every time at all stages, right? You should do the analysis for requirement, right? There also you test the requirement even though the product is not ready, right? It's not just marking the test cases pass fail. Instead, you should focus on test idea design and which tells more about the product than just uh, defects. So these are the misconceptions that I could gather from the book, right? Which is having the very big mind map where we have various testers who gave their tips for 21 days, 21 tips. So what are the misconceptions that you have heard of? Uh, comment in this video. And here is the channel you can like, share, subscribe if you like the content. Thank you for watching.